So let us go to the level three. So in case of level three, we need to graph this line. So y minus y1. Okay, so, so minus eight is my y. So minus eight is my y and x is minus two. Sorry, eight is positive. Y minus y1. So y1 is eight and x is negative two. That's it. That's my first point. Let me place this particular one. Now, what is the slope from this point? From this point, uh, so two and five. So two up, two up, and from there we have to go five towards right. Let me just go five right first. One, two. Three, four, five, and two up from here. That's it. Yeah, that should be the correct answer. Perfect. Next question. So we have to make the equation, the whole equation. So we have to find out any one point on this line. Any one point on this line. So, yeah, that's it. 0, 0,8. Okay. So, my x is 0, which is already there. And 8 is y. Here I got. Now, what is the slope? Let me just place another point. Let me just find out another point. Here it is. So, can you see it is coming down? It is coming down. So this is down, this is up, uphill, downhill, like that. So down means you are coming down two steps. That means negative, negative two, and you are going towards right. So positive three. So let me check, finger crossed, perfect. That's also a correct answer. Next one. So we have to do graph the line. So, um, so minus one is the y-intercept. So let me just place my graph on minus one. And here it is minus two upon one. Don't forget there is a one. So minus two means we have to go down two steps and one step towards the right. So can you see it's a downhill. The slope is negative, hence it should be downhill. Let me just check, it's correct. Now, we have to frame the equation. We have to find out any one point. So what is the form? Y equals to mx plus c. So c is negative 9. c is negative 9. Great. So what is the slope? Let me just figure out one more point on this line. Yeah, here it is. So from this particular point, how many, uh, how many points are moving up? 1, 2, 3. So 3 point up, 1. Uh, three point up and one point right. So that's the answer. Perfect. One more. So it's a y minus y1 equation form. Make the equation. Let me just figure out the any one point. Any one point on this line. Uh, let's just figure out this point. Okay. So this is 0, 3. So x is already 0. So no need to worry y is 3. So here it comes. Now, what is the slope? For slope, I need another point. Yeah. So we are coming down, isn't it? From this point to this point, we are coming down. How many steps we are coming down? Three steps we are coming down. So let me just take negative 3. Now we are moving right side on one step. That's one already. Rise over run. For the basics, how to do it mathematically, I have already created videos. You can uh, watch a separate playlist. Playlist link I will paste in the description section. So let us graph. So y-intercept is 9. So let me just take my graph to 9. Oh, so over here, they are testing our different knowledge. Okay. So let me take both. Since I don't have the graph upside. Okay. Let me just go down both. Okay. Let me just explain it to you. So I'm going... Uh, I'm going reverse. 
So it's like this now. From this point, I'm going up instead of the, I'm going down. So let me just show it to you. I'm considering both three and seven as negative. So three down, one, two, three. Three steps down and seven steps towards the left, not towards the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I hope my calculation is correct. Let me just check once again. This was a uh, nine, one, two, three. So this is three, three steps down. And this is seven steps towards the left. Let me just check. Let me cross my fingers. Yeah, I was correct. So did you understand a new way of looking at this thing? I can go up and right. I can go down and left. So that was a good question. Here comes our level three ends over here. Congratulations. We'll see you in the next video. Make sure you subscribe for more such videos.